Welcome to the 12th episode of this series. Today, it's time to update the upscaler from a long time ago and make a new official one. In this video, you will see upscaling up to 81 megapixels, which has very large file size, creative or consistent upscaling all at once. Start from the upside of the workflow. Some notes to read if you have problems. Down of that, we have set parameter section. Acts as a control room. You see three things here. One, the first upscale pass, which we make it two or three always. Two, another pass upscaler, that will be also from two to three. And denoise parameter, it will be ranged from 0.17 to 0.30. Remember this, if you lower it, your image will be less detailed and more consistent. If you make it higher, your image will be more detailed, but you should be balanced. Next to it, there is a comparison between input image and the output image. You can preview last image and save it here. Here, you load the image you want to upscale, but be aware about the resolution. Workflow tested and designed to turn one megapixel or 1.5 megapixel image to high resolutions. That's why optional resize group exists. Next to it, the model section you need to put the required models. Additionally, we have Seed VR2 and Florence2 as a model in this workflow. If you have problem with the Sage Attention node, just disable it. It is made to make process faster. Now, pass one group. It is one plus TTP, but with few important differences. The first difference is tile amount. Tile amount is always set to four with a reason behind. You can see each tile preview here. So what about the major difference? It is conditioning batch and auto-prompted Florence. You see here, I use Florence 2 large and you should use that too. Florence 2 makes four different prompts for each tile. Because each tile is in fact a different image, we avoid artifacts and more reasonable noise and reconstruction. These four different prompt goes different conditionings and it goes to the conditioning batch four. Each tile received by the sampler will be differently prompted, and sampler gets it as an order. For example, tile 1 for conditioning 1, tile 2 for conditioning 2, and more. You know the rest of the workflow from episode upscaler. This pass 1 triggers two things, smart noise addition and reconstruction. You see here it seems it's not unblurred image or upscaled. That is true. Actually, it adds noise and reconstruct the AI mistakes a little bit. But the thing is, this smart noise addition and distribution is perfect for the Seed VR2. Let me visualize it to you from one example. For example, you have image with low resolution, and it is from a distance, hard to regain details. First pass makes the non-random noise addition. It is a tiled distributed noise. And then, Seed VR2 also tiled upscales the image and turns the noise into details. After this short documentation, Let's get back into the workflow. One parameter in pass two should be changed manually every time. It is the TTP tile image size width and height. You see here five width and five height. That means the image will be separated into the 25 tiles. You should change these two factors. Depend on your first pass upscaled resolution. If it is higher, you should put more tiles. If it is lower, you should put low. I will tell you the math, but let's preview the tiles before. On the preview image node, you can see each tile. Seed VR2 will upscale each image as an individual image. That way, we will be able to make even the furthest point becomes closer. So, let's come to the problem. How much tile for which resolution? Let me explain it to you in details. Let's assume that you put one megapixel image, and then you set parameter upscale to 2x for pass 1 in control room. After the pass 1, the pass 2 is also set to 2. This is the default values. As a result, you will get 16 megapixel image. Tile width and height is 2 times 2 equals 4 is great for this setup. Another setup is to make higher output resolution. Assume that our target is 50 megapixels from 1 megapixel. You need to change the tile width and height on second pass set to 25 tiles or 16 tiles. 4 times 4 or 5 times 5. Change it equally like a square. Another setup is to make second pass 3x and first pass 3x. Again, tile should be 25 at least. That way we get 84 megapixels. You must change this tile factor, 
otherwise you will get out of memory, or you will get stuck. So all along, I tried to explain this width and height, and how it should be changed. Now let's talk about this Seed VR2 node. This node is updated. Remember episode 10 we made different installation because GGUF was not supported. Now it is supported, but still we will make manual installation once again. I will show you the installation after some results of this workflow. By the way, down there we have last image preview. It is the finalized output. Next to this we have comparers and comparison group. After all these, time to see some results and power of this workflow. Okay, so starting with low resolution input image, you can upscale even the lowest resolution. The setup was 3x for the first pass with close to 0.30 denoise and 3x for the second pass with 2 times 2 equals 4 tile. Denoise can be changed to lower. That means more consistent upscaling but less creative. However, output image is satisfying related to the input. Not every detail is perfect, but most of them are nearly perfection. Another one. This one is also a consistent. I showed it in the video, but let's have a look more closely. The details, great. You see here some face details added. Like red, you can see. It is about denoise value. We need to change it to a lower. But I wanted to see the details, so make the balance yourself. Here is our car image. I downscaled it to 1 megapixel first, then upscaled to 32 megapixels. Denoise was high, if I remember correctly. We have interesting exhaust right there. You know, these logical fail details only can be fixed by inpainting. No AI can make perfect image, at least for now. Another low resolution to high resolution example, bird image. It is symbolic for upscaling tests. Overall details, good, except maybe legs should have been different. Another example before the last one, I saved best for the last. You know, I am making my thumbnail images with Juan. I was using TTP, but now we have maybe 10 times better technique. Last example is 81 megapixel example. Because the file size is too large, I couldn't compare it in Comfy, it rejects. You can see write up entity is too large error. So I am showing you separately. Here, output image is almost 200 megabytes. So be aware if you are doing this. The thing you are seeing here is objects from very long distance. Small, unrecognizable faces. And more. This image was the workflow's success criteria to recover this image. One more good news is that I will give you 11 example images in zip file in Patreon so that you can compare before and after yourself. Or drag and drop to see the setup I made for each different example. Before the end of this video, I will show you how to install the Seed VR2 node. And we will fix the TTP error by changing the code, so that without problems, you will run this workflow. This node is changed recently, so we will not download it from Comfy UI Manager, because all of the tests was from previous node. To overcome this, I will give you the custom node in zip file from Patreon. However, all rights goes to the owner of this node. He also made a video about upscaling videos and images. I suggest you to visit it. All you need to do is drag and drop the version of this node from the zip file. Here, we just drag and drop the folder in zip file to the custom nodes folder. And we'll be done. One last thing left here. It is about the TTP error. Crop sizes do no match error. I also did get it sometimes, but now I don't. To fix it, we need to change the code mentioned here. I will give you fixednodes.py. All you need to do is replace it in TTP toolset in custom nodes folder. Here, how can you fix that error? Just drag and drop the file I will give you in Patreon to the Comfy UI custom nodes TTP toolset folder. Replace the existing file. That is it for both installation, guide of the workflow, and everything. Lastly, I can say, what will we do in next episode? I will finish the product photography. It will be the video two and will be the last one. I haven't planned the episode 13. It could be regional prompting or different topic. Until the end of 20, we will do LoRa training. That's it for this video. See you on the next one.